Hey everybody, it's Mr. Snake here. <coughs> Sorry, I've been having a cold day. And maybe there's a good way of saying I'm not meant to do this video. Not yet. Or maybe never. Who knows? <laughs> or maybe there's a Zeus of Pritchard that taught me. <laughs> anyway. <coughs> uh, I'm looking at this one website and it said the history of the science and the history of the Bible. And I was looking through it and in one part, I don't remember which part, it said the king thought with his heart. And then the one guy said, and the, all, cre all creation is synced with the heart, atheists sync with the mind. And he actually blatantly ignored a Bible verse. Now when I first read this, this honestly shocked me. It's Jeremiah 17, 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure. Who can understand it? To anyone out there, what this means is that if you follow your heart, you are being deceived by yourself. It is truthfully a unique verse, actually. In today's society, we are taught that our hearts are good, we should follow our hearts. Here the Bible said the exact opposite. It is honestly surprising. And it makes perfect sense too. Our hearts are deceitful. Uh, let me tell you a story. Now, I'm still 15. I'm still growing up. I make mistakes. I make them now. I make them today. And I most certainly will never stop making mistakes. <coughs> now, I had a crush on this on this girl. Still do, actually. And I haven't seen her hold on a minute. To really use these. I gotta take them off to put these on. Eh, who can recognize me? Anyway, I had a crush on her and for so long I wanted to see her. Now I haven't seen her in months. So I kept asking my mom, my mom, if I could see her, if I could see her. Until eventually, she got so frustrated she just gave me her nu number. So when I texted her, now a few days later actually, she texted, not a few days later, about two days. No, the morning of the next day, my bad. Ah. Sorry, I'm not a good storyteller. Anyway, she when now during our conversation, she texted something that just made my heart beat. I missed you. My heart was telling me to telling me to get her over here, get her over here, find a way, way to stay here. And it and I followed it. I kept thinking about her over and over and over. Then the deceitfulness came in. She had a crush on somebody else. <laughs> ah. The heart truly is the most deceitful thing in this world. But God also used this, used me in this way as well. It was because of this experience with that girl why I'm more in touch with God. My pr he answered my prayers, actually. I prayed to see her. He gave me something great. But he also doesn't control her, so... While he gave me something great, that reality hit, hit as well. <laughs> he did, God does answer all prayers. Some of them are yes, and some of them are no. And this one, in this Bible verse, you shouldn't be praying for things you want from your heart. 
it's not going to end well for you. Here's the next verse after that. I, the Lord, search the heart and examine the mind to reward a man according to his conduct, according to what his deeds deserve. No man is perfect. This is true. No man is actually worthy of heaven either. Everybody's, everybody deserves hell, to be honest with you. If you don't like that, fine. You don't have to worship it. You don't have to worship our God. You don't have to believe in our God. It's still going to be hell for you anyway. The heart will lead you astray from God. Don't be fooled by it. Anyone who hears this message, heed it by the heart. God says in the Bible, if you're really sad about something with God, it break. Break it for God to show your worthiness. Not actually kill, break it, you know, but... Man, I am not good at the, good at this. I'm uh, uh, I'm gonna cut something out. Yeah. To be honest, this thing with just honesty bullcrap on my part. Sorry. Anyway, to sum this up, the heart, deceitful thing. Don't follow your heart. Don't join the bat bandwagon. Your heart can lead you to hell. Good night.